All right, guys, so we're going to do a quick EGR cleaning on a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter 3500. It has the three liter diesel in it. Um, this van has about 80,000 miles on it. I do not believe this EGR valve has ever been cleaned. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive into it. All right, you got your EGR valve right here. It's got the two hoses connected to it, one electrical connector. You got to move the uh, fill tube for the oil first. So that's a uh, E10. Pop that bad boy out. I always like to just swing that out of the way, take the cap off, pop the cap back on. It just kind of cuts down on any debris. All right, now you got your electrical connector right there. Pop the little safety clip out of the way. All right, wiggle that bad boy off and just kind of set that over to the side. Okay, now you got four bolts that actually hold the EGR valve in. Um, some, some people say that you have to remove these hoses. I have never done that before. Um, just kind of pop that socket on there, crack it loose. And we will just get all four of those bolts out of the way. Now, mostly this should be able to wiggle itself out, but that's in there pretty firm and good. So what I like to do is kind of grab a hold of the body of it a little bit and hold up and use a fairly decent sized ball peen hammer and just kind of tap right here on this corner of the body right here. Don't tap up here. Don't try not to tap anywhere else. Just kind of tap on this far bottom corner right here, right next to the date stamp. But just lightly tap it and you should, while pulling up on it, and you should start to get a little bit of gap there between the valve and the body. And the next step is to just get in there with a couple of screwdrivers, both front and back, and you should be able to just slowly work it up. Mind the uh, temp sensor on the back side of the valve. But yeah, just slowly work that up. All right, just came free. Go ahead and work that valve out and just kind of lay it back. And you'll see that it is nice, really, really well carboned up. Got your old gasket there on the, the body. Just kind of throw that off to the side. Take a paper towel and just kind of stuff it down into the bore inside the body right there. Now we're going to focus on cleaning this bad boy right here. So best way to do that is just a can of brake clean. This is just a bolt can that I have. Um, I buy brake clean in five gallon drums and it's just easier to have a pressurized can. Soak that down really 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 well get around the body and go at it with just a little nylon tip brush just kind of scrub away at it this whole process probably takes I don't know, 10 minutes. takes about 10 minutes so just kind of get in there scrub really good Douse it with brake clean a couple more times. Get a little bit of scrub on the outside of the body there. All right, now what I have found with these valves is the reason they continue to stick and you get the shuttering motion, uh, almost feels like the truck is misshifting when you try to accelerate, uh, is that this area right in here, 
inside the actual veins, this little raised area, that gets enough carbon buildup on it that it won't allow the veins to close fully or if it's completely closed, it kind of hangs and doesn't really allow it to open up. So for that, I usually go at it with just good old-fashioned Scotch-Brite. And this is just the little tedious part of it. Just kind of got to get in there and clean each one of the ends of those little raised portions, a uh, little, little seal there for the end of the vein. You've got to do that on all three of them. Try to get all three corners of it the best you can. Yeah, see that's coming up, coming really good, really clean right there. Scotch bite prads are great for a lot of things. Scrub that top part. Get right down there to the front. So it's nice and clean and shiny. You got really good return there on the, on the valve. That's snapping back to the full closed position the moment I let it go. And for the outside of the body, I usually just take a bigger piece of Scotch-Brite, just kind of go around it to try to clean some of the corrosion off of it, or the carbon buildup, I should say. makes it go in a little bit nicer, makes it come out next time a little bit nicer. Pretty well cleaned up on that. Pretty well cleaned up here on the mating surface area. All right, so the valve, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now down here on the, on the mounting point, Again, just kind of take your scotch brite pad and just kind of clean that surface up really well. This one cleaned up pretty nice, pretty easy. Sometimes if you get a little mileage on them, they've got a little bit of buildup or dust on it and they don't really come, want to come all that clean. Now, the last thing that I do, and this is really just personal preference, is I've got a little impact driver here with a brush on it. And I usually just get in there and just kind of scrub the inside of those walls down a little bit. Again, just trying to make it nice and clean. And yeah, got a nice good finish on the inside of that board. And then the easiest part after that is just cut open your new gasket. This one's from L Ring. I usually get them from ID Parts. There's your part number to it right there. This gasket's only like four dollars and some change. Uh, I usually buy about ten or twelve of them at a time because I've got forty trucks I have to do this to. And then slapping it back on, you just get your orientation right, get your holes lined up. Grab a couple of bolts. And the gasket is made to retain the screw a little bit. So just put your three screws, three, four bolts, I should say. Get them all just threaded in there, just a couple of quick turns. And then when you go to put this back on, it should really easily just slide and drop down into place exactly like that. Pop your coolant hose back into the holder over here. And then when I run these down, this, uh, this Milwaukee driver only does to about 35 foot pounds. So just kinda run it down till you see it snug up a little bit. Thank you. 
Might need to go around everything a couple of times, just kind of work it back down into place. And then just put just an ever so little bit of turn on it just to make sure you crush that gasket down nice and nice and steady we're not torquing that on there with a pipe wrench or anything connect the connector back on don't forget to replace your wheel cap on top I've ran into a couple of times where you don't get that second tab back down in there, so make sure you feel around there and that it's actually good and tight up against the valve cover. You got your last little bolt. Just kind of threads into the very front part right there. Slight little turn for torque. And there you are. That is cleaning the EGR valve on a, this is a 907 Sprinter, um, but this is a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter with the uh, three liter diesel. And uh, this will work on anything from 2008 to current models, and this is 2022. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. That's the way I do it. And I, I don't have any problems with it. And I've got about 40 of these trucks that I deal with. So, uh, yeah, you'll have a good day.